Hi, welcome back to my channel, Fix and Repair. Today I'd like to show you what I'm working on, what I finished on my golf cart here. Eventually I'm going to put a Predator engine in this golf cart, the 13 horse, but I had to put a different seat on it, and this is what I came up with, so maybe this might help you. So the passenger seat I bought from the Surplus Center, and the other seat is actually a seat off of a stair lift for elderly people. And I acquired that for like 40 bucks, it's just like new. That's why I have mixed matched seats on it. But I used the uh, same handles as the original golf cart had. And I came up, with, instead of using that bad plywood, I had uh, two pieces of thin aluminum, which I sandwiched together. And then I used the uh, same hinges and I marked them out and I got them on there lined up real nice. So it works just like the old seat did on the golf cart. So I'll flip it up now. Definitely a little bit heavier. And then it rests on the steering wheel. And this is the inside of it here. And you can see I reused the hinges. And then I just bolted it together and sandwiched together. I had to move a couple bolts because of the seat tracks. They were interfering but it's all very solid and sturdy I also had to add a piece of channel aluminum to the back to give it some support because for some reason when they designed this golf cart this whole back end in here was all open so I put that in there and I put two bolts on each end and I bolted it to the tubular frame this is what I came up for my mounting plate for the uh, Predator engine, I got this at the at the junkyard. I don't know what they're from, but they're going to work really well. So I just used the same holes and I bolted it to the back. And I ran up and I, like the other video this other guy made, you had to cut the top piece off of here. So I gave it more room and then I used a smaller plate and I ran it back here and I bolted it in there. So when I bolt the Predator engine in here, since these bolts are sticking up and I don't exactly know where the engine is going to rest, I have this plate here, which is off an old weed eater. That's the battery box lid off a weed eater. And for some reason, the tractor was not the greatest, but this back plate was really heavy duty. So my plan is, is that I'm going to make this fit in here and bolt this to this plate and the engine this this size right here is the same size as the plate for the engine and then i'm going to bolt the engine to that so that way the heads of the bolts will be down underneath here and then these bolt heads won't be affecting where the engine is placed so i'll be able to slide it wherever i need it that's the plan anyway and i think it'll work out really well so this is what i came up with I got the uh, modified air filter for the uh, Predator engine. I bought the shaft adapter just now. And then I'm gonna take the gas tank off the Predator engine. And then that way the engine will fit in this space here. Cause right now uh, the engine is like 17 inches. And if I take all that stuff off, it'll be It'll fit within this this area, and I'll have some space in here too yet. Okay, that way I don't have to uh, adjust this the uh, seat up or down or whatever. I don't have to adjust it up. So, if you like my video, please subscribe, give me some uh, comments or whatever, and I'll keep making the videos. The next one will probably probably have the uh, parts installed on the engine, and then I'll get the engine in there. Thanks for watching.